Hey, 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 do main quest stuff, which involves me going to a place I have not went to, called Fort Dranlon. And you know what I have not done? I have not rested. I should rest. You, you need to have food to rest. Why are you not buying food? Because I'm a dummy. And dummies, and dummies don't remember to get food to rest with. <sighs> I could use some food. Ba, 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 ba. I'm in a very singing mood today. Like sing, 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 and singing a song. You know, I do this in the car all the time. You just randomly will start singing a song for no apparent reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is me. It's just singing a song. There's Katra. We're not going there. There's nothing in that rubble. I already checked. We're going to a place called Fort Dranlon. It's in the very northwest. There's a dead body here. I see a You see a dead body? You find in the middle of this bare, open expanse of stone the body of an Empire soldier. Well, part of a body. Let's say he was caught out in the open by giant lizards. Most of the soldier's goods have been dragged away. You do find one thing of interest, however. In a mushroom patch nearby, you find a courier satchel. It would seem that in life he was an Empire messenger. Strange. They didn't tear the satchel apart. There's four scrolls inside. You reach for one of them, but then they change. They seem to rearrange themselves into the satchel, and they look so similar you can't tell them apart. You grab one of them and hope. You look at the paper with its writing shimmers and blurs faster than the scrolls of the bad day. Yeah. Apparently, I can't... I can't do this. I probably need something like more arcane lore or something like, or something like that. Fifty soldiers! Hey, how are you guys doing? They welcome you to your... The soldiers of Avedon welcome you to your encampment. They don't get many friendly visitors out here, because the surrounding lands aren't well controlled. On the other hand, they tell you they haven't been attacked. The position is very strong and tends to discourage the casual raider. They're mainly here to watch the surrounding area and to see any assaults heading east. They haven't seen anything lately. After talking with them for a while, they warned you to be careful and watch out for Empire raiding parties. And then you move on. Mm, curious, sir. They've seen heavy action. Everton soldiers have seen heavy action. When you get close, you notice that their armor bearing the sun insignia of Avernum is heavily torn and bloodied. So much so, in fact, that it looks like it's been stripped off of slain soldiers. You suspect an ambush, but too late! The disguised Empire soldiers attack. Well, we're stupid. Oh, apparently, uh, me looking in that bag did some disoriented me. Die, witch! I did not realize I was disoriented. Well, I can't... Oh, no, I got so disoriented I don't remember any of my spells. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. More leveling up. I just got done leveling up. My goodness. Zente doesn't understand anything right now. Is a dirt? I think I can uh, unshackle. Look if I can help with that. Unshackle your mind. Now he knows his spells. Fire Blast! Ooh, I'm a happy person, but I'm not doing it yet. A slow. Kill the witch. I just realized something. He has
has the fire sword. Oh, she's just immune to it. That's why it's not working. I see. There's nothing magical. Darn. <sighs> that hurt. Random cows, moo. Someone went to Great Trouble to build a nice home out here. The house needs to be abandoned, and the lovely fungal garden's been trampled. Walk inside. The house has been almost completely looted and graffitied the faces of the walls. There's some stone tablets, though. Look at them. It's in your native alphabet, but you can't make any sense of it. It's like total gibberish. And it gives you a headache and you give up. And there's more Empire soldiers around here. Empire, Empire, Empire. There are Empire soldiers everywhere, it would seem, today. Here's this little healing boost, and let's check out a bit of fire blasting. <laughs> ah! Their arrows just hurt. But what better than to, what's better than destroy people? With copious amounts of, with lots of lightning. I think that worked well, wonderfully. Quite wonderfully. Item is too heavy. Well. We can't decipher anything. You find a pack of forlorn cave cows moving around lost. They're probably owned by one of the farms, but now they're wandering around, and it won't be long before the passing soldiers eventually eat them. <sighs> You're still an idiot. IRL, as well. I'm kidding. <laughs> the person who, uh, who I made that character for. Don't worry, we're friends. He won't get mad at me. I don't think. Bones and broken weapons are scattered over the cave floor for hundreds of feet in every direction. This area has seen at least one major skirmish. Maybe more. And here's Fort Dranlon. Fort Dranlon is, is closed with magical barriers everywhere. Fort Dranlon is a grim place, the battered front line for Avernum in a long series of vicious wars. The wall shows signs of having been blasted, patched, torn down, and rebuilt many times. The passage ahead leads into the core of the fort. Arrow slits face into the passage, and lines of ominous symbols stretch across the floor. If you are an enemy, these magical traps are more than capable of giving you a very long day. Also, there is stuff that we need to get here. Not only is there people up to the north, but the solidly built blonde woman can't seem to stop moving. She moves from barrier to barrier and wall to wall looking for something to repair or augment. Welcome, I'm Wendy. I'm a major. You seem busy. Just working the barriers. Needs doing. What are the barriers for? Walls take time to repair and Empire mages hit us with firewalls all the time. They're much worse than the sliffs. And the sliffs are? That's who we fought before the Empire came down here. Well, that's what Fort Dranlon fought before the Empire came. I wasn't here, I was with the Scimitar. Who were the Scimitar? Underground warriors against the Empire. Back when their agents all among us were covert. We fight with the army now, mostly doing stealthy stuff. When one of us is needed, somewhere we go. We're all in this together. Do you ever want to go out on missions again? Instead of being cooped up in this fort? I do. In the old days, I could slip into a secret Empire installation, kill five of them, and leave them being none the wiser. Being on the defensive is killing me. I have some great skills. You, uh, we can't, though. But, we, I'm sorry. As much as I love for you, what happened to the Scimitar? We were based in the Abyss, and the Empire took over the Abyss, and for the most part, destroyed it. We stopped being underground then. We came out and joined Avernum openly. 
So in other words, it's a party member we can take if we wish to have, which I don't wish to have. Now there's a... Uh, hello. There's a small, beautiful woman with long, curly, brown hair sitting behind the desk. She wears simple velvet robes and bears the staff of a wizard. She nods to you and grins. I'm Commander Myrowin. Welcome to Fort Janlon. We have a terrible time getting out here. Ember troops are everywhere. Tell me about it. We can hit our raids from the west all the time. They come by sea, flying over the water on boats. It's a constant trial. Are you in charge of the fort? Yes, I run this fort. It's a pretty bleak position, but it's an important one. It seems to have seen better days. Not many of them. Fort Janlon has been here seven years now. We're always the first to be attacked and the last to be relieved. Why is the situation so bleak? Even though you just said it. The Empire's been hammering us non-stop for months. The barrier didn't help things, and adventurers rarely come here anymore. Were adventurers common? Used to be. There were always adventurers coming through here, doing missions for us, heading north to hunt giants. Great help. Now I can rarely get anyone to do missions, even though they offer good bribes. You used to bribe them? You know many mercenaries who'd work for free? They used to reward them by teaching the spell to spell barrier. Very useful. I'm not allowed to teach the spell barrier to people anymore. I can only offer gold and a good word to the government for those that do missions. Could you bend the rules and teach me? Sorry, it's a powerful spell nowadays and we're not allowed to teach it anymore. But I hear someone at Fort Emerald is being a little loose with it. You should go check it out. Will that be interested in doing a mission for you? This mission is a dangerous one indeed. To the north of here is an empire tower filled with mages led by an Archimage named Eldoran. We, we need him dead, and have been trying to find a small band to infiltrate his tower and slay him. So you're in charge? Bleak? Why do you think the Empire's been targeting you? Because we are here. We're closest to them. We're next. The nearest city to us was Katra, and that's destroyed. Now our supplies have to come all the way from Silvar, and we're well de but we're well defended. For now. Us and Kotra versus three, four Empire guys in the tower. And we still... The Empire has a tower near here? It just appeared almost overnight up river to the north a few months ago. It's owned by a maze of Eldoran, and it launches nasty, nasty raids. It's an important place, though. If someone could hit it hard, it'd really stick it to the Empire. And nasty business with Kotra is just a ruin now. The loveliest city in Arvinum. But we'll keep it from happening again, mark my words. You know what? This is rather convenient because the quest we just get, <clears throat> the quest we just got, our main quest, ties in really nicely with this one. This small temple shows a sign of frequent visitation. The kneeling pad has been worn threadbare by the constant use of the beleaguered soldiers of the fort. It's a temple. Let's worship a bit, I guess. There's a dignified woman praying at the altar. Her long, dark hair contrasts sharply with her snowy white robes. I am Caitlin. Sorry to intrude on you while you're praying. I am always saying prayers for the future, for the lost, for forgiveness for our own acts. My regular work is spellcasting. What else do you pray for? For peace, for those who have died on both sides, and for the Sliffs. What has happened with the Sliffs? Poor creatures. First, they were devastated when they lost the war against us. Now the Empire hunts them for sport. They're an old, dignified race. They deserve better. I like this person. She's nice. Spellcasting of what sort? I help maintain the barrier sometimes, but that isn't important. What's important is I can heal you if you wish it. Do you make healing potions? Yes, but only for the soldiers. We don't have many. Grey mode is in short supply. Where do I get that? I'm not supposed to say. The knowledge is too secret to tell people who need it. Of course, I'm allowed to mention that if you took a boat down the river to the west and rowed a ways north, a way, a ways north the view is excellent. It's especially nice at the headwaters of a certain river, as I mentioned. To the west, a ways in the north. You never know what you might find. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> I love how she just basically told us where stuff was. Hey, a quartermaster. Hey, buddy. I'm George. I'm in charge of the... Wait. The counter is being polished by a middle-aged, heavy-set man with short black hair and a neat mustache. He shakes your hands. I'm George. I'm in charge of the supplies here. 
We have some things here. Can you identify them? Sure, I've seen many strange things. Can't guarantee anything, but I could take a pretty good guess. Only ten coins an item. Oh yeah, what's this? That's a warrior's ring. Fine, sir. And I think that's the only thing we have to identify. Hey, you looking for any supplies in particular? Wine. Troops here really need it. Wine's about the only big keys that the troops here get. Nothing fancy, just as cheap stuff. Well, we don't have anything, sorry. Oh, okay. What do you do for the fort? I'm the quartermaster here. What's that ringing sound? Ah, that ringing sounds such as it is. Plus, I run the com commissary. What's the commissary? He points behind the counter. There's some supplies there for what few adventures we get passing through. You can buy stuff if you want. We need the money for petty cash, believe it or not. We also have rations. That's all we got. And we didn't have that before the cash. What cash? Empire Supply Cash. They got them all around here. Fresh supplies teleported from the surface. We don't find many of them, but we grab one occasionally. You get many adventures coming through? Too much Empire activity. They stay away from here. Wise move. I want to see what you have for sale. Supplies, basically. That's it. And that's the end of the video. We... Well... A stone platform used for surveillance. Use of the defense for surveillance is very exposed. People have been clipped. Yeah, I can see there's a dead body down there. The fort walls are a formidable sight. They are blackened, stained, and studded with vicious looking spikes. They are glowing glitz at regular intervals, promising fiery death to those who try to force entry. They've been struck by many enemy, enemy spells. There's also a dead body down there. I'm going to jump off the platform and look at this dead body. Then I'll end the video. Because I have morbid curiosity. Morbid curiosity. My curiosity was quite stupid, I think. Quite stupid. Why did I even bother? Oh, well. Well, that was interesting. So, when we come back, we can go somewhere else and do more main quest stuff. I'll see you guys later.